generally when you talk about surgical operations, there's two main types. There's the traditional open operation where for thoracic surgery, we would make a larger incision, sometimes in between the ribs or up and down the breastbone uh, to gain access to the structures inside the chest cavity. Uh, the other form is minimally invasive surgery, and we make uh, several small incisions, usually about uh, half to three quarters of an inch. Uh, usually there's two or three of these incisions, so uh, one of the incisions will put a TV camera through, and then the other incisions will put our instruments through to do what we need to do. Uh, now robotic surgery is much more refined in that the camera that we use actually has two lenses, so it gives us a three-dimensional view uh, when we're looking at it under the console, which is sitting next to the robot. And then the instruments that we use are much more refined as well, as the ends of the instruments have these wrists, much like the wrists that I use, so that when I'm using them in the uh, console, it actually turns much like what I do. So robotic surgery is just another step beyond uh, minimally invasive surgery, uh, where we're using uh, much more refined technical instruments. So robotic surgery is different than our traditional approaches. So we, so we used to use larger incisions uh, to do what we need to do, whether it was to take out the lung, take out the esophagus, uh, take out large tumors inside the chest. Now we've met, been making smaller and smaller incisions over time. Um, the, the first uh, step in doing minimally invasive surgery is to be able to see things precisely and use the instrumentation. Uh, with the robot, we're able to do much more complicated operations these days uh, because the instrumentation is much better with the reticulation and the instruments turning much like my wrist. Um, and the details of the visualization getting a three-dimensional view, there's been a lot of great technical advances uh, with the robot uh, compared to conventional video-assisted surgery. For patients, the robotically-assisted surgery needs quicker recovery and less pain. We find that patients are in the hospital a lot shorter after surgery. Patients are in a lot less pain and require less harmful medications like narcotics postoperatively, and patients return to work or normal activity much more quickly compared to patients who undergo a bigger uh, incision such as a thoracotomy. So we're still um, learning how to use the robot, even though uh, we've been doing it here at Johns Hopkins for uh, 20 years now. This is actually our 20th anniversary of, of using the robot. Uh, but the technology is going to get better. They're going to get smaller and smaller. Uh, the visualization is going to get better. Uh, we're seeing better instrumentation, so it's going to allow us to do much more complex operations. So currently, we are doing what's traditionally done in open operations, but uh, we're able to do a much more difficult uh, operations in the chest now, doing airway work, doing esophageal work, uh, taking out large tumors that may be uh, near the uh, vessels or the nerves. So we're seeing that we're, we don't have to do large operations anymore. Uh, this cuts down on the time in the operating room, cuts down on the blood loss, and uh, thereby we feel it may also improve cure rates in cancers in that uh, we're getting better margins, uh, we're taking out more lymph nodes, and so we're getting a much more complete resection uh, with robotic surgery. Our Johns Hopkins thoracic team provides state-of-the-art surgical care. We have a well-rounded team with many years of experience and expertise to take on any challenging thoracic pathology. We fully embrace a multidisciplinary approach to our patient's care, especially regarding cancer care. We have partnerships of multiple different specialties and work seamlessly together to provide tailored care for each of our patients.
Well, for thoracic surgery, we have a dedicated robot. We have one in our operating room. We have 100% uh, access to it, so uh, we do not need to schedule it. Uh, so uh, we uh, have it as common as some of our other instruments. Uh, we uh, can do robotics every day of the week. We actually do some cases on Saturdays as well. Um, but as I said earlier, uh, we do have the experience with robotic surgery going back to about 20 years, so I think uh, that's something that uh, most other programs would not have.